All right, so now let's look at a uh, simple interest on a note. So treasury T bills are used by the US Treasury Department to finance the public debt. Suppose we have a 180 day T bill with a maturity value of $10,000 and it's purchased for $9,885.56. What is the annual simple interest rate earned on this T bill? Our answer is the percentage rounded to the three decimal places. So what do we have here? So first off, uh, this up here is going to be the A value. That's going to be our future value. This is going to be our principal. And this is going to be our time. Now, it's 180 days since it's a uh, T-bill. It's with the Treasury. It's going to be out of 360 days. All right. So everything needs to be plugged into our formula. We're using the same one. A equals P times one plus RT. So A being 10,000 equals P, which is 9,885.56 times one plus R, which is what we're looking for, times T. Now 100 divided by 360, that's a half. So we can times that by half. Okay. Now we want to solve for R, so we'll first divide by 9885.56. And then we have 1 plus 0 0.5 R, or maybe we should keep that as a half. And 1 half R <clears throat> equals the 10,000 over 9885.56. Now we subtract one from both sides. So one half R is equal to 10,000 over 9885.56 minus one. Now to get rid of that, we multiply both sides by two. And so now what we'll do is we'll go uh, get to our calculator. And so let's clear that out. So now we have to type in our, let to see, or actually we could do this two times 10,000 divided by 9885.56 minus one, and hopefully we get our interest. Now this is as a decimal, so remember we want it as a percent, so let's multiply by 100. So that's 2.31529. They wanted it to three decimal places, so that'd be 2.315. So our R, is equal to 2.315%. And that would be our answer rounded to the three decimal places. Okay, so when we're working with these things like treasury bills or anything with government like this, then we're gonna be using a 360 days instead of 365. And so that's one thing to kind of note here. All right, <clears throat> after buying a new car, you decide to sell your old car. You take a 270 day note, for $3,500 at 10% simple interest as payment. So the principal plus interest due at the end of 270 days. Then 60 days later, you need money and sell the note for a third party for $3,550. And what is the interest rate will the third party receive for the investment? Give the answer as percentage to three decimal places again. All right, so what we have to do here is gonna have to figure out what we have and what we need to get to. Uh, our Future value is going to be one thing we need to do because we have the principal, we have the rate, and we have the time. And again, that's going to be out of 360 days. So future value is going to be equal to 3,500 times 1 plus 0 0.1 times uh, 270 out of 360. Okay, so we can solve that one. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna take, let's clear all that out. Uh, we'll take our 3,500 times 1 plus 0.1 times 270 divided by 360. And that gives us $3,762.50. And so that's going to be our answer to part one here. And so that's gonna be the future value would be 3762.50. All right, so now the next part is we need to think about solving uh, our, our normal equation here because we want A is equal to P times 1 plus RT. So now we need to solve for the R. So uh, there, there's multiple ways we can do this. 
uh, we could go ahead and you know divide by p, subtract the one, then divide by t, or you know we could distribute everything here first and then start subtracting over and doing it that way. It really doesn't matter. It's just all algebra. So it whatever algebraic way you want to do it is fine. Uh, just because it's easy, I'm just going to say okay, well, let's do it this way. And so we're going to divide by p. So a over p is equal to one plus rt. So subtract one, oops, one, subtract one. So then we have uh, a over p minus one equals rt. Now we wanna solve for our rate. So if we take this times one over t, we take this times one over t, that should give us our rate, okay? So then our rate will be equal to uh, 1 over t times a over p minus 1. All right, so what do we know and what do we have to put in here? Well, we have our a, our future value is at 3762.50. Uh, the p now is something different because now our p is going to be this new p, the 3550. And so then we have uh, a new time too because it's normally 270. We're doing it 60 days later. So what's our time now? Well, our time is going to be 270 minus 60 or 210. And again, that's still out of 360. Okay, so that's going to be that. So now we can plug everything I think we know in here because we know that this is now 3550 for our P. Our future value is still this. And so if we do that, we have 1 over T, which is the 210 over 360 times A, which is the 3762.50 over our P of 3550, and then we have minus one. Now, if I can remember all that when we're typing it in our equation, we'll be good to go. All right, so go back over here. All right, so uh, we had one divided by, and then we had 210 divided by 360. And then that was times, and then we had the quantity. Uh, then that was uh, A over P, so the 3762.5 divided by the P, which is 3550, and then minus our one, and hopefully I have all that typed in correctly. So that comes out 10.2615 uh, that. So again, we want it as a percent, not as a decimal, so multiply by 100. And we went to three decimal places, so it'd be 10.262%. And I think I'm going to write it over here. So our rate is going to be 10.262% to three decimal places. That's the rate that the second person is getting there, or the third party is getting on this investment. Okay, so you had to pay 10% and they're getting 10.262 out of it. And so that's gonna be how they work on that one. All right, so let's stop there and go some more.